Welcome back, kindergarten and first grade readers. Today, I'm going to be reading the book called Interrupting Chicken. This book is called Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? Already the characters letting us know. By David Ezra Stein. This is one of my favorite books to read in my classroom with my students. Interrupting Chicken. It was bedtime for Little Red Chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh no, Papa, I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, 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 they began to eat the house until the old woman who lived in the house came out and said, What lovely children! Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her in when out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in! She's a witch! So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken? Yes, Papa. You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother, but don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken? Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa, I'm sorry, but he was a mean old wolf. Yes, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa, let's try one more little story and I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off, warned Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm. When, what do you think's gonna happen now? Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't panic, it was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't, the end. Chicken, yes, Papa, you did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't fall asleep without a story. Then, oh, Papa said, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me? Tell a story? said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, you can see little red chicken with a notepad. Bedtime for Papa. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all... What do you think's gonna happen? Ooh, what does this mean? Papa? Oh, he's asleep. Good night, Papa. The end. Thank you, scholars, for joining me for another great book. See you next time.